The design of this LA house has to deal with um, conflicting factors of preserving privacy and then opening up to a view. Um, so how does it present to the street? Well, it's a busy, dense urban street, so the need for privacy uh, led us to make it very solid, sort of sculptural, solid, uh, evocative form, but without re revealing anything about what's going on inside. And then, then as you enter the house, you immediately experience that um, courtyard pool. And how does that work um, in relation to the rest of the ground floor living areas? Yeah, it's a big, it's a big surprise. It's a big release that you're compressed to get through the front door. Uh, and when you get to that courtyard, it opens up to the sky and out through transparent surfaces to the water beyond. And it really becomes a hub that everything circulates around. And it opens up to all the um, to all those ground floor living areas. Yeah, at the touch of a button, sort of the glass doors, uh, they they slide pocket back into walls. So suddenly, the house is the public part of the house is all indoor outdoor. It takes advantage of that really nice Southern California environment. And that happens for the kitchen and the living areas? Kitchen and the living and the dining. And on the second level, um, how have you organized the space there? Well, obviously, the, the, the eventual destination is a great master bedroom that, that sits up like a bridge above the, the water in the, in the courtyard pool and then the water in the lagoon and the ocean beyond, and it sort of has a commanding view of, of everything. And when you walk in the door and you, and you look up through the courtyard, you see it, it's sort of a destination. You sort of... The house is arranged the pinwheel, and that's the obvious uh, culmination of the journey through the house. At the front of the house, you've got a pretty blank face because of uh, dealing with the privacy, but at the back of the house, you've got a lagoon and, and a private jetty. How does your design respond to that setting? Well, it's a wonderful setting, and so the logical thing to do with the house is to open to it as much as possible. So, in fact, the house dematerializes as much as it can and uh, opens uh, at both levels for both the air uh, in the view and the light. So again, you've got a, you've got big glass doors that that pull back to to give you that indoor outdoor flow. That's right. So you can be in the living room or in the bed, and you know to be unencumbered with your view all the way out to the Pacific Ocean.